Yeah, back back from playing around. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna take this out. Oh god, there we go. Oh. That's right, winter is not an excuse for not working out. Heck, I was working out when I was homeless. My life was a workout and other stuff. Anyway, but like I said in a prior video, here you go another video about homeless shelters, US or any other country out there. If you can figure out what you want, or what you can do, or what situation you can do at that time, or what you can do, you should choose the homeless shelter best to you. Yeah, that's right. I said best to you. That's right. Like, was it some time ago? A guy, a guy, a pretty rich guy, was trying to build on his property, on his land. The one he paid tax for. Buildings. You know. Like. Rooms with a toilet and a tub and a bed. Like 30 like thirty of them. Like 30 sexes. And he opened that for the homeless people. Come on at any time. Choose a room. Of course you have to do all this stuff. Name. But it was his stuff. Guess what happened? He got shut down. That's right people. He got shut down. Don't ask how I know. Because I know. He got shut down. Oh, you can't do this. Blah, blah, blah. Etc, etc, etc. Ha, ha, ha. Funny, ain't it? And then another situation was, was... When people was being fed. Like, people came by, gave people some food. Some very good food, like lobsters and cheesecake and freaking stuff like that. Guess what happened? They got shut down. You can't feed the homeless... Blah, blah, blah. It's illegal. It's a crime. Yeah. So it's giving your next door neighbor food. Like, here, try this out. Tell me if it's a good art. Hey, random people, come to the cookout. No, it's like a different type of homeless people, even though it's the same thing. But, you know, whatever. Don't be getting me started on the UK. The fun stuff for that country. Yeah, that's right. When I was deployed, I have many UK friends. They told me a lot of stuff, and I had to look it up myself, and it was so true, according to what they say, according to what I said, but you know, blah, like, what was it, <laughs> saying this where the guy building the places for the homeless place on that person, probably a rich female in the UK was doing the same thing, oh, you can't do this, blah, 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 same thing, what was it, and then, I don't know how much 200 pound a month is in y'all country, but is that enough for you to pay your bills, pay your phone, which everybody needed nowadays, pay for transportation or not have transportation, pay for food, pay for electric and water, and still have enough to survive all of it? I don't think so. Hey, don't even worry about y'all country. We like minimum wage. Can you pay the minimum of survival needed? Heck. Might go in the middle of nowhere in like the desert and build me a house or city or council, empire, something, whatever. Homeless shelters. Fun days. Don't even get me started on Russia. I don't even know if they have black people. They might not even have homeless shelters. They might have people sleeping in trees. I don't know. That's right. I'm making fun of you, Russia. Stop. Stop complaining. You make fun of everybody else. One of my videos there about the politics and bullcrap was... When some president of a certain country on TV said, if you vote for this person, we are going to war. Guess what we did? That person ain't going to vote for it. B.S. I dare you to try to, like, whatever, man. Do your thing. If you want to punk them, punk them. Just go for it. Anyway. Fun days. Don't even get me started on all the other countries out there. Heck, let me get to go back to this country. There are certain cities here that does not home have homeless. You know, no. When people say they got rid of homeless on them, no, they didn't. They just simply said, I would kick the homeless out. It's illegal to be homeless. It's like, otherwise, saying, if you can't find a job that you have the skill for, but that person won't hire you, hire somebody else, that's your fault. That's right, your fault. 
bad experience by other people. But I know, don't worry. I've been in those states and those countries, etc. Fun time. Uh, fun days. Whatever. Like I said, when you choose your shelters. Make sure you choose the one best to match who you are. Stop trying to pretend. If you're not going to do nothing, just sit around all day complaining. Not going to find a job. Hey, you just want to sit there and die. Live your rest of life off of scraps and scraps. Trying to be like claim a mountain or something. You just want to sit down and live. Basic. Go in the woods somewhere. I'll find the most basic of basic, basic homeless shelters. No need for you. People go to those places that will actually help people get jobs. Because all you're going to do is sit around and do nothing. Be honest with yourself. If you're in a state, if you're one of those that want to do something, can't do nothing, get out the state. Pretty sorry if you go to your juice office and ask this or somebody like up there like, get me out the state or something. Somebody, heck, go to CNN or something. Get your voice out there and be heard or something. Somebody has to call. Might be a good call. Might be a bad call. Whatever. Take your chances. Don't sit around and do nothing. Just waiting to die and starve and complain and take that chance of. I mean, there's only four, ten, four diff, two different character cores. One, you're the universe situation. Now, you either A, allow to happen or take a chance. What's the worst going to happen? You're going to die anyway. The other second is you in the best of best. You gotta A, make progress, or B, keep where you are, or get in the worst of situation and progress. You can, I wouldn't agree with you take that chance, but hey, if you meet, you take that chance, because you know, you don't know the, no, no. You don't know the bottom cap of your limbs. I don't care. It's not my fault. Anyway, my story, I've been in a lot of homeless shelters. A lot. One place, Alaska, even though I'm, like, representing that, or, I was in a homeless shelter up there, and like I was sleeping, like five people came up me at night while I was sleeping, but like four people was holding me down. This one guy stuck some cocaine in my veins. That was a bad choice for them. Cause I wrecked like all the three white people that was helping them, and then that one Latino got wrecked badly the day after. Then when I, you know, told the police about it, oh no, we can't do anything because this place can't have a warranty here, can't search here, or the people here like you can't do that. Oh ho ho ho. Uh -huh. And then I had next day I've seen this police talking this voice. Ha ha ha! days. Ha ha ha! Oh, I'm playing that black guy back. Don't worry. It was the same black guy that followed me to my gym. Ah, uh, lucky for him. Lucky for him. I didn't even realize I didn't care. But my turn. Oh, yo, it's you. He was about to get dropped. Same thing again after I left that place. Follow me again. Oh, that was a fun time. Walk right behind the alley. Wait it. Wait it. Came around and going, yo, how's it going? You remember me? Ran the other way. Fun days. Crap. Six foot four. Like 45 or 44. Lucky for him. Really? You had a gun on you, buddy. You was walking with your gun out. I don't know why. The moment you turned that corner, like, come on. Why are you running from me? Somebody must be telling something about me. Come on, people. You had a gun. Go for it. Take your chance. Play Russian roulette. Come on, people. I need to get my fingers back and evolving in again. I need somebody to slip. Somebody's going to slip. I need my finger to feel like what's digging in flesh like again. Somebody's going to slip. Don't care. Anyway, same person. I will find that person. Since the police weren't doing anything, nobody won't do anything. I will find that person. I could just make a fabricated story, but whatever. How is it legal? I'm defending my life. Shut up. Good thing I have a, like a pure immune system. Cause it took me like two days to fight off the feco in another five days or four days to uh, uh what was it? Stop sweating. To sweat for no reason. You know, whatever. Anyway. Another place was well, I have my shoes stolen off of me. How do you steal someone's shoes off? I'm saying people find a way, but fool me once, and only once. I purposely got some most expensive shoes I had on at that time and wear them. Try me again, buddy. Try me again. It was most likely something that was in that water. That was, like, they had this cooler water outside. 
where people can go and drink water, and you can't go in there and drink water. You have to go to that cooler. Must be something. This is the only way. Cause I definitely don't take like stuff like that while I'm in a homeless shelter to like stay asleep and not feel anything. Honestly, but you know, fool me once, should have got, should have asked me. Wouldn't happen again. Like I said, people choose the best homeless shelter meant for you. Anyway. Make sure you choose the right place for you. Heck, hopefully, when I get my visa, or I get a house, any of those two options, I ain't got the country, I get a house of my choice, of my wants. I don't care. F off. McDonald's, my way. Burger King, my way? Hmm. My God, I'm God here. My way. Anyway, make sure you choose the right place for you. Don't worry about the racism. Not much they really can do to you. If you think like me, not much really they can do to you. If you are I me, mean, not much really they can do you. They obviously want that whole city to get wrecked, like leveled or something. Or aliens come out with, oh yeah, that's my buddy. Try me, try us, or something like that. There's other thing. If there are aliens out there and you are seeing what's going on and you're not doing anything, I know you have enough intelligence to understand what's going on. Because you know better not to show yourself or something. You obviously know what kind of people we are, or species we are, but you see this stuff going on, heck, you're not doing anything, or we are going to have a long day. If you're not part of the solution, you're a part of the problem, unless you have no other way to help the problem, but, you know, that's everywhere. That's those cases, but, you know, all this fantastic you're not doing anything about it, you and I are going to have a talk. That's right, people. None of that movie crap, oh, ho, come down, oh, congratulations, you climbed the ladder, I'm like, yeah. I climbed the ladder. I'm up there with you. Yeah. Where is that? Oh, that's yours? Bye. Boop. No, bro. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Not that difficult. Don't say you can't do it. Yes, I have. When people get jumped, I jump in. I call the police afterwards. I have the right to protect my friends and family. You know, every situation is different. Oh, you can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. It's like being certified in First aid when you are legally, if you're certified in first aid legally in the country of U.S., and you see somebody in trouble, you must administer that person first aid. That's why you got certified. But, you know, there are certain situations where, no, 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 blah, 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 blah. You can't do that. Then all of a sudden, you don't do it. You get in trouble. That's not going to happen. Put me once. After that. I'm not certified in first aid. Don't worry about it. If you're missing a leg, the best you get out of me is a phone call and a walk away. That's the best you're going to get out of me. Unless you have that smell or that aura about it. Then not my help. But until then, no. Bye. Haha. -ha. Anyway, I'm going to another video about how to identify with someone breaking into your house. Simple stuff, people. Don't worry. It's not it's going to be like more level than my past video, but you know, it's not going to be all the... Tactics and techniques and category categories like pages of billion and billion and billion of infant pages with their own set of tricks and going off the other blah blah blah. Anyway, homeless, pick your place. And other countries start complaining about us because only two countries with the best homeless shelters the US and the UK. Everything else of your mind will be sleeping on a freaking underwater and waiting to get drowned and eaten by a freaking octopus or something. That's right, I said it. No country out there. U.S. and U.K. But that does not stop me from going to another country. Especially when I do it legally. Legally. Like, getting my visa. I have my passport. You know, do a citizenship or not. Well, whatever make me progress, fella. But, well, have fun. Sleeping on rocks and stuff. Don't say I haven't done it. Cause I have done it. I slept like negative 40 temperatures or negative 100 temperatures. It was that one time that... Bear was looking at me kind of funny. And that one time that guy followed me through the woods and I dropped him a course, but well. Really? You don't follow me in the woods where I know you're following me? I'm stopping and moving, I'm stopping and moving, and you try to come out and arrest me? Come on, people. Who you take me for? Who would you take me for? One shin side to the thighs for me is your leg will be broken. Will be broken. That was back then, though. Way back then. Anyway, have fun. Homeless shelters. Do your research.